everybody what's up divas what's up divas so i am back your girl april and this video is about to be really excited for me because i've been waiting for this hair so that is the reason why i have this bright yellow shirt on because i figured out that this wig would look so nice with this bright yellow though i wish i would have had like a short sleeve shirt because i don't really want too much of my arm meat out but you know it is what it is but like this is a beautiful color yellow i love yellow i think it just is like a very pretty color and i think everybody could wear yellow so that's the reason why i wore yellow because i know that this hair color will go with it and a lot of other colors will go nice with yellow too so yes hunties yes so you guys like about over 30 days ago i got this email right and it was from this company called wig only okay so i didn't even know who they were i never even heard of them so i was looking through their stuff you know scrolling through their page so they got some really nice bomb ass wigs like they look really really nice on the website like you know like a lot of wigs always look really really nice on the website you just be like oh that look nice girl and then when you get it you be like oh, that does not look like it does on the website that color does not look like it does on the website that wig does not look like it does on the website well when i got the wig in the mail because i had like totally forgot all about it like you know time had went by and then I got it in the mail and it said wig only, okay? Quality wigs only. So I was like, okay, what's up in here? It took me like a couple hours to open it because I don't just be so enthused that much sometimes when I get packages, especially if I don't feel well. So when I opened it up, you know, this nice wig came out. I was like, oh, okay. And then a wig cap, of course, a wig cap and an elastic band was in here. And then I pulled out this lovely beauty. Ooh, okay, hello. I asked them for this blue wig and I was like, when... The blue on the website looked a, a, a tad bit darker and... It, girl let me tell y'all about this this blue is so freaking pretty okay it's 22 inches 150 percent density okay 100 percent human hair it's not virgin anymore because it's you know it's been dyed it is a full lace glueless cap with stretch panel in the middle hunty okay got combs all over here pre-plucked hairline dark roots <sighs> What? This color is way prettier than the website. Like, the hair is not all dried up. Now, first of all, I did freaking pre um, bleach the knots on it because they were a little bit knotty. You know what I'm saying? So, I did bleach them. But you know what's so good about it? It didn't even ruin the roots. Like, for real, I love when I do not ruin the roots of the freaking wig or the frontal. Then, what was so cool about it was the hair was not bleeding. You ever bought a wig from a website and, like, it just bleeds and bleeds and bleeds? and then finally it's like the color is gone it's like it's there but it's not even like as bright and vibrant this thing did not bleed at all it bled like for 10 two seconds and then it was done bleeding which was amazing just to think that it was not going to be like a blue mess in my tub was great let me tell you this wig is amazing it's so pretty i'm so excited i'm about to cut the lace off of this bad boy and style it okay they do custom wigs and if you or somebody like me like want something custom you see something on the gram and you want them to make it for you they definitely will make it for you this is a new website to me and i do believe it's new in general they have an Instagram, which I will post it for you guys below. Um, they also have a coupon code, so you can get $25 off of your um, your products, your item, your wigs, if you use coupon code April. Me, April. But I'm, like, just so impressed because this wig is, like, bomb as hell. And if their wigs are all like that, then you know what? They're about to take over the game of wig making and coloring because I have gotten many different wigs before from many different companies, and they... We just not even gonna go there. So I'm gonna start cutting the lace off of it, and I'm also going to sew on the elastic band. So I did notice there's no comb in the back, so I'll be right back, guys. I'm gonna have to sew a comb in. I'm gonna take the one that's in the middle and put it back here. Okay, love. So I'm gonna go ahead and find where I want to put this part at. If I forgot to mention, I did bleach the knots on this unit, and I will show that in this wig video or tutorial as a clip of how I bleached the knots, as well as I used the Sally Beauty Supply Store shimmer lights. But I'm really kind of contemplating if I want it to be a middle part. Normally, I do wear my wigs on the side. 
I don't really know where I want the part at because it's just so pretty. Normally I have like a side part. And the actual combs, um, they're kind of like situated differently. So they're back here behind the actual ears, which is great because you don't got to worry about your hair coming up. So I'm going to go ahead and use this mousse. Okay, love. So as you guys see, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use my mousse that I always use, which is available at the Dollar Tree. But as I'm styling this unit, I'm also going to be showing you how I went ahead and bleached the knots and also made sure that the wig was not brassy. So the wig does come with its normal elastic band and stocking cap. And as you guys know, this is a glueless full lace wig and it does have the three combs in the unit. So I hope you guys can just kind of like go along with me as I do this tutorial. I am going to be hot combing my hair as you guys see here. I'm just going to take that hot comb that I did purchase from Walmart and I'm just going to straighten the wig and get it to lie as flat as possible. And I do have the heat on as high as possible also. And up in the upper left corner, I'm just going to be using my B2W uh, bleaching powder along with some 30 developer. And I don't like the consistency of my bleach to be runny. So I do prefer it to be kind of like on the thick side so that way it does not seep through any of the lace. So you guys, as I'm stirring this mixture up, I'm going to go ahead and just continue to decide which side I want this part on. So I ended up deciding that I wanted it to be in the middle after all of the work that I did just to put it on the side, I decided of the middle. So the item that I'm using on the actual wig right now is just a wax stick and that's just to lie the hairs flatter and then I'm going to take my hot comb and just press it down and make sure that all the hairs lie flat and as you guys see me in the upper left corner I'm going to just go ahead and use a small bleaching brush and just lightly tap the bleach onto the lace you want to make sure that it doesn't seep through any of the lace so that way it doesn't penetrate the roots of the hair the wig did come with all dark roots and some of it looked a little bit knotty not like really noticeable you probably could use some makeup or some concealer to conceal it up but i really wanted it to look more than just makeup i wanted it to look as natural as possible so that's the reason why i decided to just bleach the knots on the unit and the bleaching process took about 30 minutes for it and it came out really good none of the hair shed as i bleached it none of the hair like broke off and i was so surprised it didn't even look brassy which was great so as you guys see me right here i do have the wig on and i'm just going to just take out some of the hairs in the frontal perimeter and make me some baby hairs and i always use Use my eyebrow trimmer just to make my baby hairs you can use whatever makes you feel comfortable I don't want it to be a blunt cut so I always use my eyebrow trimmer so that way it's not blunt and now that the bleach has been sitting on the hair as you guys see in the upper left corner I'm just going to rinse it out and I'm going to use the Sally Beauty Supply Store Shimmer Lights and as directed in the actual bottle you do need to use it twice the first time you want to lather it up and then rinse it out and then the second time you want to just put it on and let it sit for about five to ten minutes and that's what I do and I always get a perfect um, lace look it doesn't look brassy now I did use the styling mousse to lay my baby hairs down as you guys see me styling them now I didn't want a lot of baby hairs but I did want something different so you know I'm not the best at doing baby hairs but I decided to just style them totally different so that's why I only have them in a group of three but I don't really use gel I don't use gel at all to do my baby hairs because I really don't like it to be hard you know I don't want the hair to be too hard and I really don't like the hair to be stuck to my skin so I do prefer to use the mousse and I also use my pump it up hairspray along the perimeter of the actual lace so that way the hairspray holds the lace down so the hairspray is on the baby hairs a little bit but it's more so on the lace by the hairline so that way I can use the pump it up to actually hold the wig down so I'm not going to use the curling barrel to apply the heat this time around I'm going to use my blow dryer so I'm just going to take the nozzle of the blow dryer and just lightly tap into it and this also helps the wig lay flat so as you guys see I'm taking the nozzle of the blow dryer and I'm just brushing it into the hair and the heat is on cool but then I do release the button from time to time and use it on high heat or basically medium heat and and as you guys see, the wig is actually laid down stuck. So I did wear the wig for like three days.
days without having to remove it and I'm just doing the same thing here and I know you guys didn't want to see me doing the baby hairs again so I'm just taking the nozzle of the blow dryer as you guys see and I am smoothing the hair down this will make the hair super straight and will also allow it to lay really flat and it will also allow it to lay down tighter and it will also adhere it to my actual hairline so this is the reason why i just do the mousse and the hairspray along with either a curling barrel or a blow dryer to actually go ahead and style and hold the wig down so this is what it looks like it came out really really nice as you guys see um it is super duper long and i actually do like it like this i'm just going to touch up the edges just a little bit i didn't have to but i always like to be perfect i don't know why but i'm just like a perfectionist i always want everything to be like perfect so let me put some curls in this really quick and i'll be right back so you guys, I went ahead and used my Irresistible Me Curling Wand System, which you guys always see me use. And I know you guys see me style it so many different times, so I didn't want to bore you with that. But I love the way it came out. This wig is gorgeous. The color is so vibrant. I really would recommend this company. As you guys see, these edges are laid, hunties. Like, look at that. Really laid. Not too many baby hairs. And I actually did wear the wig for three days without it being removed. On like the third, third and a half day, it did kind of like lift on the edges a little bit. But I was ready to remove it anyway. But I really do like the unit. It came out really nice. And I decided just to use the blow dryer method from here on out because it helps a lot better and it lays the wigs a lot lot better all right you guys so the hair looks really cute curl it gave it some life and I actually do like it in the middle part um it's cute I just brushed some of the baby hairs up or out off my forehead because I don't really like them um stuck to my forehead or whatever but if I wanted to wear this in like a low ponytail I can definitely do so because it um it's not as thick as normal, so it's 150% density. The color is so pretty, and it goes so nice with this yellow, hunties. And the sides came out really, really cute. And here goes the other side. It's so versatile. I like it. It's 22 inches. It looks a little bit longer on me, probably because I'm short, but yeah, 22 inches in length. I did another big video today that was supposed to be 22 inches. Girl, it did not look anything like this in length. This is definitely 22. I would say this is more or less like 24, but I don't know this what it is. I feel like a superhero for some reason right now. Like, for real, I like, I don't know. I do really like this blue hair. Like, it's really, really cool. I don't know if it's the yellow, the background. I feel like I should be like on a comic book like you know what I'm saying like something like I don't know but I really do like this blue it's got me like feeling myself like really this is like a really pretty color blue and I really actually do like it the most because of the dark roots you can give me color and I'll definitely wear it but I have to have dark roots at all times so this one was a win for me for sure if you want something custom made you can definitely let them know send them a picture whatever they have like a really good colorist there um that they compare to this other really really popular colorist that's all over instagram i can't remember his name but they did an amazing job they also do balayage which i want a balayage unit because i love balayage it's so pretty but i love this blue so you know so let me know what you think of this unit um it came out nice it did shed a little bit but you know what that's cool i don't really care that's to be expected it didn't get excessive like some of the units that i have i'm glad that the color did not bleed which is great the only thing that i would suggest to them would be to put a comb in the nape area if you're going to have a comb three combs at least take the one out the middle and put it in the nape area because we do need the combs in the back this hair back in a ponytail real quick to show you guys okay so for my ponytail I'm just going to kind of like brush the hair back lightly I don't kind of tug on it at all I know it's it is held down pretty well but I just feel still I don't want to tug on it so I do use my fingers and hands just to gather it up it's really easy to pull in a ponytail at first when I used to try to get it to go in a ponytail any wig not this one but just in general it would take me forever I would get aggravated and then I would be like the heck with this I'm not even gonna bother with a ponytail but now it's really easy for me it all depends on how you apply your wig but this one was super easy there you go guys I'm not really sure what the back looks like I don't really be concerned with that but yes aunties, this is really cute okay I do like this blue so you guys I love you stay deep and delicious make sure you rate comment subscribe thumbs this video up and I'll see you guys in the soon to come video